Okay, this is my about my third attempt at making this video. It seems uh, uh, <laughs> I can't seem to get this video to work and to upload. Uh, it's so interesting. Anyway, this uh, I wanted to talk about the great deception, the great lie, the apostasy. Um, what could it mean? I think it's very easy in scripture. It talks about uh, that when mankind fell, Eve was um, spoken to by the serpent, and we don't know what exactly all the uh, if, if the serpent spoke to the Adam. We don't really know a lot of the fine details. We just know the overview that what he did to persuade her was a lie that um, perfectly parallels evolution. Uh, it has a, it's a it's a bundle of lies that make it, make it up. Um, man's efforts, uh, knowledge, to be like God, that seems to be the package, which um, nicely fits evolution. Un <laughs> amazingly, anyway, that was the lie and fall of mankind. So, it's to me it's no surprise that the great deception, the mark of the beast. And the great falling away and the apostasy of the church wouldn't uh, wouldn't be much different to this lie, and um, so I postulate that the number six 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 is talking about a religious belief system that has deceived the world, that is trying to put instead of the triune God, the real God, a counterfeit religion based on man. Uh, man um, in the areas of basically knowledge and um, things like that and uh, his his will or uh, let's say his uh, what's the what's the one he is um, striving to be like God um, that he can be like God now I, I, I postulate that in a I don't think I'm wrong too much. I don't think I'm wrong too much. I think uh, it's a pretty close assumption. Now, what have we got to go on this? Um, we have that the world will be deceived by a great delusion. Um, uh, Roman says it's they start worshiping the creature, the creation, and not God, at the Creator. So that seems to be part of it, which again fits the naturalistic uh, methodology of um, evolution, or um, that God didn't create it. Okay, so they start worshiping that, and they get given over. It says uh, they become futile in their thing, and they get given over to this great, this delusion. So this delusion, it seems, is definitely in line with um, the belief of a creator. And it's in line with substituting uh, creation with processes without him. And I think this is um, what evolution is. I think it is a man's religion, humanistic philosophy, uh, or humanism. And I believe it swept the world. And amazingly, it's got into the church, and even Christians, um, a lot of Christians in a church, you can probably go to any church in the world and ask the question, who in here believes in evolution, or who believes doesn't believe in a literal six days of creation, and you'll probably get evolutionists. You'll, you'll get that evolutionary uh, pollut polluted uh, delusion amongst the uh, congregation. So I think it's um, that's what it's talking about. It talks about a great apostasy, and that the delusion basically will be so believable that everyone, everyone except the elect, will believe this lie. So I, yeah, I think we're looking at the last days here. This lie that it's been permeated. The fact that this lie is actually so global, and it doesn't seem to have to matter about how much. Um, evidence there is for it because it is an ad hoc theory now ad hoc means you can just change it to fit whatever evidence you find so if the theory doesn't fit the evidence doesn't fit the theory we just change the theory to fit the evidence 
no problem. And therefore it has no way of being falsified. There's no way of it being saying, oh, it's not true. So this theory is predominantly being preached in um, classrooms around the world, universities, and promoted. 